Well, it's another opportunity for me to come and share with you tonight on the Kings of Grand show. Something that I believe you might not be aware of, and that is there's something possibly choking you and you may not even know why. Hey, hi, I'm Kings of Grand. I'm here again with you. And I wanted to, actually, I will take this time to break down sometimes is not what you do is probably what you're not doing, right? And we've heard that I've heard that many times. It's not so much what you say. It's I mean in this in this um, context, it's not it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Have you heard that? Well, I believe it's both. I believe it's both what you say and I believe it's how you say things that matters. But that's another for another time. I want to speak about what is possibly choking you that you might not be even to realize is a king say what could that be well i'm glad i'm glad you ask and we'll get there in a few moments now just in case you're wondering who i am i'm king's or grant and i am a licensed psychotherapist as my background but i'm also the host of the king's or grant show which is a podcast that can be heard weekly on apple podcasts google podcasts spotify iheart radio just to name a few, and I hope you're following me and listening to the show. I speak about leadership and leadership skills and emotional intelligence based on my book, The Emotelligent Leader, and I hope you've gotten a copy and so far. But tonight I want to share with you about, or let's say put today, just in case you're listening to this on a replay. And by the way, if you're listening to this on a replay, put hashtag replay so that I can know that's when you listen. If you're listening to this live, put hashtag live. And I do appreciate you listening. Listening. I hope you can join me on a live broadcast if you have not yet done so. And you can also in, in be involved. You can make a comment if you give StreamYard or permission to allow you to comment. And I can share that with everyone on the, on the screen. So please, if you want to participate, don't hesitate. Okay? Now, um, also that if you are a, like myself, a mental health counselor, a clinician, I want to challenge you that if you are in private practice, okay, if you have a private practice and you're concerned because of how the pandemic and COVID and all of that has really impacted your business, you're saying, man, I need to find other streams of income. And I want to encourage you if that's the case, which I hope you are, then you want to to join me and in, in a journey, I'm going to experiment with some things that I want to to be a part of, and so you can join me in the group at you know I keep on changing this, but it's <laughs> it's a private practice mastery 2.0, private practice mastery 2.0. If you click on the in in the search private practice mastery, you can find it. Can head over there and be a part of that group. Now let's get into what it is you're here for, and that is what is choking you. What could possibly be choking you? Well, I want to begin with a quote by someone that you're very possibly very familiar with. If you have not heard his quote before, heard his name before, well, you're going to hear it tonight. I hear it today, just in case again, when you're listening to this. And this person's name is the late Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn said this, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Let that sink in for a minute. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, so when I say that, it's not so much what you're doing, but what you're not doing that could actually be choking you, could actually be squeezing the life out of you. Then this is what I meant. Because what Jim Rohn is saying is that the people you're spending your time with the uh, the five people, five key people. Now there might be more, but this five is an arbitrary number. The fact is the people you're spending most of your time with are those that are going to reflect in your growth process. Here's what I, one of my contention. If you want to grow and become better at what you're doing, you're not going to achieve that with the people you're hanging around with most of the time. I'm sorry. That's the truth. Here's why. If you could have, you would have by now, right? The fact is they can't take you beyond where they are. 
And you may have heard this, if you're the smartest person in your circle, you're in the wrong circle. Well, the same is true. You are the average of the five people. So look around your circle. Who is in your circle? What are they doing? What have they achieved? How successful are they? Now, I know successful success is a relative term and it has different definition, depends on what you're looking for. But just think about in general, a broad sense of the word. What about your life and the people you're hanging around with? How, how successful are they? And um, I, I hope that you are actually hanging around the right people because it's what you, Sometimes you hear people say sometimes, you know, it's, it's what you don't know that hurts you. I believe that is both what you hurt, what you know hurts you. And sometimes what you don't know does hurt you as well. But the fact is, maybe it's not what you're doing. You're saying, Kingsley, why am I not making progress? Why am I not growing? Why am I not? Why am I not? And you fill in the blanks. My friend, could it be is not so much what you are doing, but it's what you're not doing. And that is to change your circle, change your circle. Maybe the people you're hanging around with is not going to get you where you want to go. And I, here's the hard part. The hard part is, to Kingsley, I have hung around with these people for forever. They're my friends. They've been there with me for a long time. That's a problem. It's, I'm not saying abandon them and somehow abdicate the role of a friend to those people. No, I'm simply saying spend less time with them. Spend less time with them because if you don't spend less time with them, my friend, you're going to be in the same place you are today, six months from now, a year from now. One of my favorite phrases or statements or quote is this. If nothing changes, nothing changes. <laughs> Let that sink in for a second. If nothing changes, changes. Nothing changes. So I really agree then with Jim Rohn's statement. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Who are you spending time with? How, what, what, what's their, their drive? What are their aspirations? Where are they headed? Where are they right now? Now, you, it's, it's up to you. Now, I can't tell you what to do. But I believe if there's something that you have learned in 2020, like I have, is you have to take assessment, take stock of where you are, what you're doing, who you're with, because it's taught us some very, very incredible lessons, right? And that's what I want to do is pass on to others. And so I want to just say this, if you are, again, I said before, a clinician, if you are in, in you know, for example, you are a, if a, a you know, psychologist, uh, therapist, counselor, then you, I want to encourage you to join me. I want to do some things with helping you to make really a more successful practice, not by adding more clients, not by adding more staff, but is actually through other ways, right? It's how to, to make more money, earn more without working more, earn more without adding more clients to your schedule. So Kingsley, well, where do I go? Well, you know, if you know somebody who wants to be helped in this area, send them over to the, the groups and just search for private practice mastery. And they'll find it and request to join. And I look forward to seeing you there because I believe it's going to be very helpful to you. So, my friend, I just want to jump on and share that with you. And I hope this was helpful. Hope it challenges you. And I hope you've learned, gotten something from this. I know you have. So make sure you join me next time as I break down these things continuously. Because I want you to be a person that do a whole lot better in your future, even past your past generation of your elders, your parents, and so on. But if we're going to do that, we've got to change some things and hard decisions have to be made. Check your circle because if you are, you are remember, you are the average of the five people you spend most time with. Now, I hope I you get something from this, which I did, I believe you do. I look forward to talking to you soon and for you to join me again. With that said, my friend, as I end all my show, whether here or on my podcast, and don't forget, and remember to listen to my podcast, The Kings of Grand Show, available wherever you get a podcast. With that said, my friend, peace out. God bless, and I'll see you on the flip side.
Yeah.